David and David here, let's talk about some mail settings you should change on your iPhone. Mail is one of the most important apps on the iPhone, and if you don't set it up the way it should be set up, you can cost yourself a lot of battery life, and the few settings we can change will make the Mail app a lot more powerful. So let's dive in. I'll open the Settings app on my iPhone and scroll down to Mail, which is right under Passwords. Tap on Mail. The first setting we're gonna talk about is push mail. Yep. With push mail, your iPhone maintains a constant connection to your email server and it's constantly asking, is there mail, is there mail, is there mail? And that drains a lot of battery life. So instead of push, your other option is fetch, which, what is fetch? With Fetch, your iPhone decides how often it's going to check if there's mail, and anytime you open the mail app, it'll also check for you. So if you set it to 60 minutes, we'll show you that in a second. But Right. If you set it to 60 minutes, you're really good because you can't set it to 60 minutes. There you go. All right. Tap Accounts, and scroll all the way to the bottom. You probably don't have as many accounts. Tap Fetch New Data, and then turn off Push at the top. Then scroll down here, and this is where you can choose... Yeah, hourly, 60 minutes. Boom. Roasted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Yeah, I usually uh, choose wow. 15 minutes for this for me. See, he's, he's not even rubbing it in. Yeah. That's how he knows. Yes. I just got burned. This is a huge battery saving <laughs> tip. Like one of, the, one of the biggest ones. We have another video all about battery tips. We'll link to that in the card above and the description section below. Let's go back to the main mail page and settings. All right. So did you know that if you press and hold on any of these back menu items, you can actually choose which one you want to go back to. So I'm going to go back to mail, and here we are. Tap swipe options. It's a cool little customization feature. Yes, and it's a little bit confusing. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you what this looks like in mail first. Pay attention to these blue little rectangles because mm -hmm. that is indicative of what we're going to see. So I'm going to open the mail app, and then if I swipe left right now, you get three little boxes yeah. there. So you've got more, and you got move, and you've got archive. Yep. So if you swipe from right to left and just like let go of it, then that's just yep. gonzo. If you swipe and left the other to way right, is, yeah, it's just red. To right is red. Let's go back to the settings app now. So since that was the last app I used, I can just use my finger on the very bottom of my iPhone near this little white bar and swipe from left to right and beautiful. Voila. So why don't we change swipe left instead of move message? We'll make that flag. We'll flag it. And then as swipe right, we will do archive because you want the option to archive either way because that's the most common thing you do in the mail app. You can't really make a mistake. So as you can see, the swipe left feature now says flag. And that actually is the default behavior. I just prefer move to be my mm. chosen feature. And then if we swipe left to right, trash. See ya later. <laughs> Next, let's talk about block sender options. Right, so I just headed back to the mail app. Yep. I'm gonna tap back in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and I'm gonna scroll down to blocked sender options and tap on that. Now, when I block, I mean, I only block a few people on email to spam stuff mostly, but if I block that person, I don't want to see their emails in my inbox. Mm -hmm. By default, it says leave in inbox. I like to select move to trash for this. I just don't, I mean, I blocked them for a reason. I don't want to see them. I don't right. want to hear from them. That's the end of it. Right. It's nice that they mark it, but I second David's yeah. approach to Get this. Get rid of it. You're gone, you're blocked. Tap back to mail in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. What's our next setting? Default account, let's tap on that. I like this setting a lot. So, messages created outside of mail will be sent from this account by default. So, you're in Facebook and you click the little share button and you wanna email your friend an article you just found. What mail account is that gonna come from? This is where you choose. Yep, and if you're maybe you're using your phone for business a lot, you probably want your default account to be your business email as opposed there to your personal go. email. Right. It's my David at pay4.com. Yes. Not my gmail.com. Let's go back to the main page of the mail settings and talk about cellular data. One of my favorite topics of conversation, yes. cellular data. Mail can use a lot of cellular data, especially if you use your iPhone to send pictures to people or other large attachments. It can really burn through a lot of that. So the last thing you want is to run out of data because your mail app used all of it, which is kind of dumb. So you have two options. First, let's talk about load remote images. And this is kind of a privacy feature that some people might just want to turn this switch off anyway, because maybe you're getting uh, images and you don't want to see them. Mm. Sometimes spam messages can have some off-color stuff. Yes. So 
Uh, this will also give you the opportunity to choose when you want to download images from the server and then when you want to spend your data allotment. Meaning, if you're on Wi-Fi at home, just that's when you would download the images if you wanted to. Your other option is a bit more extreme. If you don't want to use any cellular data in mail and you scroll up here, see this switch next to cellular data, you could just turn that off and then mail wouldn't be able to use any cellular data ever. Right. Probably a little bit overkill for a lot of people. Um, the remote images setting is really about mm -hmm. privacy as much as it is about, you know, I don't want to see what people are sending me. But it also will, you know, save data. Yeah, I mean, if you're someone who doesn't use the mail app at all, in any capacity, you might just want to come in here and turn off cellular data just to be safe. Yep. Um, but those are mail settings you should change on your iPhone right now. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Please subscribe to our channel. Only 6.3% of the people who watched our videos in the last 28 days, we checked today, are subscribed to our channel. So please join the 550-something thousand people plus. Plus. More than that now. Yep. Especially whenever you're watching it. Uh, please join and by join, I mean subscribe. Yes. Because if, <laughs> yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down See below. See how good we are at Thanks ending for watching. videos. Beautiful conclusion. I would subscribe. Many people are saying it's a great conclusion.